A call from a seven on your side viewer prompted our undercover investigation into a crime that's exploding in our area, and we're talking about cigarette smuggling. Criminals can buy the smokes cheap in Virginia and then go and resell them in states where the taxes are much higher. As Chris Van Cleve shows us tonight, it's a billion dollar business. And it's costing cities like the District of Columbia. Acting on a viewer tip, seven on your side goes undercover at this Southeast DC gas station convenience store looking for illegal cigarettes. Can I get a pack of Marlboro Lights, please? And we found them. Both our seven on your side producer and I were able to buy smuggled smokes originally bought in Virginia where the taxes are lower then resold to us at the higher DC price and someone's pocketing the difference. The Virginia tax stamp on the bottom of the pack is the giveaway. Guys, I need to ask you about these cigarettes. You uh, sold us cigarettes with the Virginia stamp. Yes, you did. We have it on tape. You did it just minutes ago. While the guys behind the counter try to hide from our cameras. Come on, man. Put a bag over your face and come on out, man. Their customers sound off. You can see on the bottom of the pack where they're from. And you've seen, you've bought packs that have the Virginia stamp here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. What do you think about what they're doing? It's illegal, it's illegal. What's right is right, what's wrong is wrong. So what they're doing is wrong. Cigarette smuggling is big business in our region because tobacco taxes in Virginia are a fraction of those in states to its north. Maryland authorities have evidence rooms full of cigarettes seized from smugglers. You're looking at millions of dollars. And the more organized they get, what we're seeing is um, links to human smuggling, links to narcotics, links to weapons and violence. Does it surprise you that we were able to walk into a store and buy these? No. Not at all. It's that common. It's that common. But El Terry is trying to make it less common. He's the D.C. Tax Office's Director of Compliance and levies some of the stiffest fines in the nation for businesses caught selling illegal cigarettes. Last year, 40 businesses faced fines starting at five grand a pack. Back at the store in Southeast, we're still trying to get answers. I don't know, maybe some customers return it. I don't know, but we don't sell Virginia cigarette. He then lets me behind the counter. And the very first pack I see... Virginia. You can be assured that we will be visiting this retailer and uh, making sure that uh, the cigarettes that are in there are properly stamped. If they're not, they will be fined. The cigarettes will be seized. The tax difference between D.C. and Virginia is $2.56 a pack, and that adds up fast. If people cheat the city out of enough money, the district either has to cut services or raise your taxes. I'm Chris Van Cleve. ABC 7 News.